Hello everyone, welcome back to Skent Living UK. My name's Cathy, I live in Liverpool in the northwest of England, UK. Today we're talking about bolognese or pasta sauces. Um, a well-known brand in the UK is called Ormeo and today's prices are between £2.40 and £2.95. So I won't be paying that. So what do I do? I use a tin of chopped tomatoes. These are currently 35 pence in Aldi. You can pay up to about 55, 60 pence for the tin of chopped tomatoes. You can use plum tomatoes if you've got them in. Um, some dried basil and some dried garlic, or you can use fresh garlic. What's good about having the basil and the garlic in is that you can make multiple meals. Unlike a Dalmeo sauce, use it once and that's it, it's gone. With the, having the basil and the garlic in, you can make multiple meals, multiple batches of food, and all you've got to get in is another tin of chopped tomatoes, which will cost you 35 pence. So, and for an authentic Italian taste, if that's what you're going for, add some virgin of an olive oil. It's not only good for you, it gives it depth of flavour. Add a chopped onion. It's always nice to have a bit of texture and flavour. And a carrot. Grace a carrot in. So if you've got kiddies who won't eat the veg, they won't know because it's hidden in the sauce because it's greased up. Also people put in grated celery or chopped up celery. I don't like celery, I particularly like the taste of celery, so I don't tend to use it. Um, some people also like to add some tomato puree for depth of flavour. I think this is about 50 odd pence in Aldi at the moment. Um, they go up to about a pound everywhere else. Um, an alternative to the chopped tomatoes is passata, which is like sieve strain tomatoes. So all the little seeds and skin are out there. At the moment, they're about 55 pence in Aldi. So don't buy a jar of sauce for nearly £3 when the staples that you've already in got in and you can use. And for the bare bone sauce, I recommend the tinned tomatoes, some dried basil or oregano or mixed herbs, something like that, and some garlic, whether it's fresh or dried. And if you've got a bit of oil, throw in just a little bit, just a little dot. Olive oil is preferable, but you can put a bit of sunflower oil if you've got that, or some sort of... Um, plant-based oil and um, as extras you can put these in as well enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments below